all right so as always as you know that i always mention in my last good luck videos that stay away from extremely negative people stay away from extremely positive people you know people who will uh, try and make you try and convince you that the subject is very difficult and they're failing and they don't they haven't covered this they haven't covered that stay away from those kind of people also stay away from extremely positive people you know people who will just make you feel good for no reason they'll try and convince you that the subject is so easy and you know if you're not finding it easy you're probably doing something wrong so stay away from those kind of people and uh, also cut yourself off from social media if there's any news about the paper getting leaked or anything of that sort just ignore it Okay, although it hasn't happened to any O level paper, but just ignore it. Even if it does, it's it's not something that is going to. Uh, it's not something that should bother you. I'm sure a lot of it is just fake. A lot of it is just scam. So you guys really don't should. You guys should not really worry about it. Okay. Acha. Secondly, get a good night's sleep. Very very important, especially those of you who have two exams tomorrow. Make sure that you guys get a good night's sleep. Non negotiable. Because I hope I'm wrong, but every year this happens that students reach out to me after the exam, telling me that, sir, you know, I couldn't solve so and so a question. But I realized after, uh, after I, after time was up, or when I realized it was too late then. So, well, reason behind that is you did not get a good night's sleep. Okay, so make sure that you guys get a good night's sleep. Very, very important. Some lessons are learned the hard way, and. Uh, you don't need a calculator, so no need to check whether you have a fully functioning calculator or not. But do a stationary check. Make sure that you have a pencil, scale, razor sharpener. All that stuff is relevant. Uh, if you feel like, if you can't sleep and you feel like studying, then don't. I repeat, do not go. Do not solve a past paper. Just lie down. Max that I would recommend is go over your notes. But that also, if you're feeling extremely, extremely anxious, but that also I do not uh, highly recommend. Reason is. That you should give your mind some rest. Even if you cannot sleep, that's fine. Just lie down, close your eyes, try to sleep. And if you even if you cannot sleep, just don't just don't put any extra strain on your brain. Okay. So if you've studied throughout, you will feel that pressure. You will feel uh, guilty by not studying, but that's okay. Uh, if you've worked hard throughout the year, that's okay. Nothing to worry about. Take okay. Acha. Phir. Start with the easier questions, like for example, simultaneous. If you come across a simultaneous question, do that first. If you come across a quadratics question, do that. If you come across a, what else? If you come across a polynomials question or any topic that you feel that you can attempt, you're feeling confident about it, do that. Achha. Also, if you're solving a quadratic inequality, make a rough sketch. Don't try and do it directly. If you're solving a question related to circles, make a rough sketch. Don't try to do it directly. If you're solving a trigonometric equation question, make a make uh, those quadrants don't try and do it directly if you want to find out the value of cos when cos is equal to zero when sine is equal to zero when tan is equal to zero make a rough sketch don't try and do it without it okay uh, for values for whatever it is that you think you're likely to forget whether it's value of zero cos sine tan of 0 30 45 60 90 Make sure that you, as soon as you get the question paper, you write that down. Okay, whatever it is that you think you're likely to forget, as soon as you get the question paper, write that down. If you find the time, then make sure to check your answer, especially when it comes to simultaneous equations, especially um, when it comes to uh, simultaneous. What else? Modulus. Okay, if it comes, to, if it's a modulus-related question, make sure that you check your answer for that, and uh, just check as you go along because you won't have time towards the end. Take a check as you go along and uh, look for sign errors, look for simplification errors, make sure you're reading the question carefully. Look for, uh, you know, look, look for keywords like values. Values should tell you that you're likely to give more than one answer. And if let's say you're solving a question of functions and you've ended up with two values of x, make sure that you refer to the domain and see which value of x that you're, uh, which value of x you're supposed to give and which value of x you're not. Take a so do that. And, uh, same case with uh, let's say you're solving any question make sure to read the question could be an apgp question make sure to read the question sometimes the question will give you a hint as to which will tell you what answer you should expect what answer we should accept and what answer we shouldn't so read that uh, so second uh, another thing that i would like to mention is logs yeah so if you're solving a logarithmic equation related question if you come across uh, if you if you get two values, make sure that you see which value is acceptable, which value is not. Okay, and uh, I guess that's about it. Just check as you go along. Start with the easier questions. 
If you have one of those lengthy area under the graph related questions, then just make sure that you plan your answer. If let's say it's falling under uh, multiple graphs, so make sure that you find, you first make a plan as to what is it that you need before you can actually find out the total area. Uh, you might have to find out some points of intersections. You might have to find out some points of uh, some X intercepts, Y intercepts, okay? And then plan your answer in the sense that what are the two areas that you need to add or perhaps subtract to get the area of the shear region, okay? So planning, whenever you have a question which is more than five, six marks, that means it does require a decent amount of planning, so make sure that you do that. Okay? So I guess that's it. And on that note, I will end it. I wish you guys the best of luck. Meri dwaay aap ke saath hain. Theek hai. Pray for yourself, pray for me, pray for your classmates, teachers, and whoever it is that's helped you in this journey of yours. And when you guys are done with the exam, then just make sure that you give me a detailed report as to what are the topics that came so that we can sort of narrow down and uh, prepare for paper two accordingly. Okay, and once we get all the topics of paper one, right? I mean, once you guys tell me all the topics of paper one, then you know anyone uh, can tell you what are the topics that are going to come in paper two, and you know, we can we can do even better in paper two inshallah because we'll know exactly what's going to come in paper two okay so i'll stop here see you guys inshallah in the next stream so take care fellas allah hafiz